44.30 cold start. There she is. Hey guys, welcome back to Bennett's Build. I uh, thought I'd do a quick video here while I was at work. I uh, just finished up building this uh, Lemkin uh, Diamond 11. This is an eight bottom uh, shear bolt trip plow. And it is a rollover. Um, I believe the bottom boards are close to 20 some inches. Uh, so you can be moving a lot of dirt with it. Um, I just finished putting these up. Uh, most of the frame and everything come together. All the hydraulics come all as one. Um, all the rams are all put on and assembled. Um, I gotta change the tire out for a bigger tire. Uh, this is a BKT um, 455, 22 and a half, and we're gonna put a. Uh, this tire on it over here, you can see the, the difference in size here. This is a, a 545, 22 and a half. So a little bit bigger tire, a little bit bigger footprint. Um, so this plow is actually fairly easy to put together. Um, it's just two bolts you put on each moldboard. Uh, all the assemblies come together here. Uh, everything um, was pre-bolted here from this point, from this point down. And these just clip into here. Uh, they're pretty neat set up here. Like I said, uh, I put this bolt in there. That's the one that it uh, will trip on when it comes back. And then right here is the shear bolt there. And then it'll just float backwards and you can go out there and push it back down and put your shear bolt back in. Your new one in when it trips, if it does. Um, but uh, overall, I like this plow. It's uh, going to be a new addition to the tillage this spring, maybe, if we get time to do it. Um, here where I work at, uh, it is a three-point um, hookup, and then they got their different uh, SCVs here. One thing I really like about Lemkin's SCVs and their products uh, themselves, I'm not sure if you guys can see this, but... Uh, they label everything they color code everything and then they also label it with numbers and letters your pressure your t is your uh return i believe um so you can see they're color coded here and they're also numbers so p1 t1 p6 t6 and then you have uh this blue one here uh, which is a p3 uh so there's five hoses on this one but uh yeah it's pretty interesting i'll uh, fire the 8410 T up here, and uh, I'll show you guys how it uh, rolls over and everything. Hopefully my phone don't die. I know it's getting pretty low, so fire this thing up here. See it. There it goes. So SCV number one is what uh, rolls the plow. Uh, SCV two. Um, actually extends it uh, this plow that rear tire back there actually will move forward and rearward with the cylinder that's sitting right there to my finger and that way it, it gives you more clearance between the tractor and the plow um, so pick this up hope that glare is not too bad Hey guys, so sorry about that, my phone died. Uh, so anyways, like I was saying, you can see how it, I have my SCV, I'll roll this over for I'm not sure what I cover, but this is going to be nice because we won't have any more dead furrows in the field. Um, you can see you got a pre-runner wheel there, um, and then now you're set and ready to go for your next set. i to raise the three point up just a little bit here. Um, and I'm not sure if you guys will be able to see it. I'll try and zoom in here just a little bit. Um, but I'll show you how that frame will move back. Let me see if 
much. Do it this way, you might be able to see it easier. So right now, I'm actually pushing the plow outward away from the track. You're giving me more clearance. And now I'm going to suck it back in. This will be more for road transport. But So this plow's got some really cool features. And then you can raise and lower it with uh, SCV number three. And then obviously your three-point arms because it is a three-point attachment. Um, but uh, I'm going to roll back over to the left. Um, so that we've got some room to work on the shop. Uh, other than that, this plow spinner is complete. Uh, the only thing that we have to add to it is the uh, uh, coulters that are going to be riding in front of the plows themselves. Um, it was supposed to come with it on, but there was kind of a miscommunication. So, uh, somewhere along the lines, they just got missed. But we got them. We just have to add them in. Um, and... Uh, once we add them, I'll show you how them go on. They're kind of easy. There's the same thing, two bolts. Uh, all of this Lemkin stuff uh, that we build and put together is awesome. As far as going together, it's super easy. Um, they even send you with uh, a package of extra shear bolts. Um, those could have been ordered with it. But uh, they send you different wrenches. Like some of these may be for, the, for some of the cylinders uh, or pins. Uh, they give you a couple other wrenches in here that you will need for some of the shear bolts. They give you some extra hydraulic fittings as well. Um, because there's a lot of different things that you can add to these plows. Uh, things that you can take off. Um, but they've they got a nice toolbox on there for you to put extra tools in. Uh, they do line all the hoses with rub protection uh, uh, against the hoses so that they don't get cut up or anything like that on the frame when they're bedding and stuff. Um, one thing that they do have as well, they even have SCV holders, so your hoses aren't just constantly laying across the the butt of the plow. You can um, actually take your SCV here when you're done, put your cap back on it, like so, and then there you go. You got a holder for your SCV. Now it it, it does a good job. Uh, you got lots of slots here. You only got five SCVs, so you're only gonna fill out five of them, but it keeps them neat, organized, out of the way, out of the weather. Uh, keeps them out of the dirt from being on the ground. But, uh, so, yeah, they're pretty neat. They do a good job with it. I plug that one back in. Um, so I'll show you. To put these back coulters on. So this is what I was telling you right here. This, uh, you can see where this slides, the plow right here. So it actually will slide backwards and it'll slide forward. Uh, depending on what you're trying to achieve. Um, they've got lots of grease works at all the pivot points, two there, um, they got them all inside here. Uh, it comes pre-greased from the factory. Um, yeah, so it's pretty pretty neat. Along with uh, that, so these coulters that go on, there's two notch ones here, we're gonna end up changing those to the smooth ones that are laying over here on the floor. Um, for whatever reason, these ones got like a short, a short arm on it right there and these ones got a much larger arm on it i'm not sure if you guys can tell but so these go on just two bolts here and they run through the frame down here to the bottom uh up in there and since it's the rollover style uh they're a little tricky to put on because you have to put them on at the same time uh you can't just stick one on and put the other one on because they run through the same holes so when we get these brackets here um, these brackets are adjustable so you can get any width you want, uh, length away from the uh, mold board itself or and then you can also uh, swivel it so you can swivel it in and outward. On top of that this is like a stopper here so you can loosen this bolt up and you can actually make this whole thing swivel even more to get a bigger adjustment if you need be. Um, but uh, so yeah this is the uh, the Lemkin, um, my guess is that it, these are all made in Germany, so they have German names, uh, but this is, I'm going to call it the Diamant um, 11. And uh, we're supposed to be getting another plow in this spring that's uh, going to be a pretty sweet plow. Uh, it is by far going to be the best one uh, around the area for sure. Um, so 
Thanks for tuning in with Finance Build today, guys. Uh, if you guys kind of like these videos and you guys want to see more of this Lemkin Intelligence Equipment line, uh, let me know. I can make uh, other videos. We have lots of other uh, tillage tools, um, uh, high-speed disc or, or compact disc. Uh, we've got some uh, deep band tillage tools. Uh, yeah, we got a karat. There's a karat sitting over there. That's meant more for like disc ripping, kind of sort of. Uh, they don't have any disc on it, but it's got the rippers on it. Um, so we've got a big line of tillage equipment. So if you guys like to see more of that, uh, comment down below. Um, everything is for sale. We can get you anything. We offer 24 hour uh, parts uh, and service. Uh, we have lots of uh, stock in the back there. Um, you know, bolts, nuts, different uh, springs that you might need for some of the other equipment. Um, different types of U-bolts uh, uh, that hold part of the um, uh, thrashers on and stuff like that in the back so uh, yeah so thanks for watching Ben's Build today guys uh, please comment rate and subscribe uh, and thank you I appreciate you guys uh, subscribing I'm now at uh, 505 subscribers uh, never thought I would get there for sure but thanks to you guys uh, made that possible so I appreciate it um, we'll talk to you later